Hey, this is Mary LaVar Stoney. So you and I probably have different visions for an ideal Richmond. And that's something I love about the city. Not only have a diversity in people, but we also have a diversity in thought. We're passionate and opinionated about building a better place to live, work, and play. And I think we have at least one thing in common though. We all want Richmond to grow. But how? How do we create a more equitable, sustainable, and beautiful city for all of our residents, regardless of their zip code? Our city's master plan, Richmond 300, a guide for growth, answers that question. It's built on a foundational understanding that with equity and sustainability-centered actions, Richmond can grow into a beautiful city where all residents can thrive. Richmond City Council is voting whether to approve Richmond 300, a guide for growth on December 14th. So why should you care about the city's master plan? Here's your answer. The plan harnesses rapid development in areas like Scott's Edition and Manchester, pacing that growth to reliably benefit neighboring communities down the line. It uplifts and prioritizes areas that have been historically hampered by racist policies like redlining. It not only acknowledges the systemic injustice that is endemic to our city, but uses intentional design to right those wrongs. It makes important recommendations that will help us fight poverty, like promoting affordable housing near transit centers. And this plan came from you, the Richmond resident. The Richmond 300 staff heard from 6,000 community members where they were, nearly 3,000 residents at master plan events, and nearly 7,000 citizens via surveys, and comments. The Richmond 300 Master Plan is a reflection of years of public engagement from all across the city, and it holds the power and the potential to change Richmond for the better and for the good. Visit Richmond 300 to read the final plan and tell your council member you support an equitable, sustainable, and more beautiful Richmond for all.